No, I just want to say that Kalpana, I know her since uh, 97, I think, uh, when we were doing aerobics uh, at the Pure Energy. She was the first client. Yes. Uh, uh, all these years of, uh, let's say, nine years of uh, Kalpana, uh, apart from her constant feedbacks to make us better. But the fact that she's the first one to arrive at the center, you know, and uh, making sure that the place is neat and clean. <laughs> and, uh, I would say that uh, initially, like uh, she had some issues also, uh, physical issues and all those things, which have gotten better over the years, I think. And uh, uh, body-wise, uh, is a you know early twenties body. Early twenties, huh? Yeah, yeah body, body-wise. So no, no, the best thing that I must say, yeah. Madhuri, that when um, students never know what to tell me, never. So when I say, oh, my fat level is 22 or 24, he says, oh, it's too less, increase it to 25, 26. When it goes up to 25, 26, he says, oh, it's too high, increase it to 20, 24. <laughs> That's the only thing I've been hearing. What I do is, uh, when I started off, of course, I started off with uh, general training where I used to do uh, workout with uh, weights, free, bo free body uh, exercises and uh, combination of cardio and uh, exercises. Then I think as I moved up and the, as I grew a little older and the gym grew a little older, uh, I think uh, with the help of Sunil, uh, finally I have come to a stage where I am doing um, uh, strength. exercises, strength exercises and endurance. Yeah. First uh, endurance and then strength. I mean uh, since I am very particular that uh, as I keep on telling Sunil that I want to die on my feet and I want to walk to my cremation. So I have to keep up my fitness. No, the thing is, uh, uh, Kalpana was uh, one of the few people who progressed from uh, uh, endurance level training to the cycle of uh, strength training. Not everybody can uh, go into the strength training. You need to have a, uh, years of foundation. Only then. It's not like uh, we just said, okay, now it's because uh, she's been there for so long and she created the foundation to be able to handle the strength training. Not everybody can do it. And it has made a difference. I mean, um, sometimes I notice a difference markably in my, myself. Sometimes I feel okay, there is slow. But I think there is a difference. I mean, there have been, when I'm walking on the road or going to some shop, there have been strangers coming to me and telling me that, uh, oh, you work out and where do you work out? Yeah, it's been happening quite often that happens. Yeah, because of the aesthetic physique, you know, it's a straight line, you know. Yes. But uh, uh, this uh, the strength training which she does is cy cyclical. It is not like we keep on strength training throughout the year. It's like uh, twice a year. I mean, I don't believe in dieting as such. I mean, diet, diet, what people say that, no, you should not, never have this or never have fat and never have carbs. I don't believe in that. Uh, there are uh, days when I binge. There are uh, Sometimes there are days when I have drink every night one glass of wine like Madhuri does. <laughs> For the record. But on the whole I try to see that um, my food habits and the food that I eat is uh, healthy, fresh and uh, I think I've just grown over the years now it's become like a habit like uh, if you give me uh, if you don't give me soup and salad uh, for lunch I mean, I just can't eat anything else. What has worked for you? Uh, I think it's the balance of the food, thanks to uh, I mean, Sunil and Madhuri, both of you guiding me on and off. Uh, I see to it that, if, if, for instance, if I take a salad, it's got lots of sprouts, it's got some uh, fruits like uh, anar and apples, it's got a lot of greens, it's got a lot of cheese, hard cheese I use because that is what uh, Sunil told me to have hard cheese and I love that cheese. And it's got paneer to make up for my proteins besides the sprouts that I have. And I've got, uh, and I just change the dressing every day. And uh, I am, com I was completely vegetarian to the extent that I used to have an egg, which I've started to have recently since a couple of months. Since uh, I do not want to have uh, protein powder uh, because I feel that uh, staying natural with natural food, if you, as long as you can, and yeah. as much as you can. And when you need a supplement only, you take it. Mm. So, and I think I've been fine with uh, started having one egg every day. Yeah. <laughs> I've been having ice cream and drink every night, but I'll stop since last, I think, 15 days because my, I thought my weight was slightly going up. <laughs> but anyway, I enjoy myself. <laughs> it's not that I don't binge. Mm. Us, a lot, lot of members and people who know you, and genuinely also because of the age, 
and because of the level of physical activity that you maintain for yourself, whether it's with golf and training and other things, right? I think because of the gym, this personal training, I think is the best thing that uh, is possible mm -hmm. because this constant attention of that particular trainer, plus of course you both are always there, I can always nag Sunil if I'm, I feel something is not going well or I feel like something in my body, I don't feel comfortable going out of shape, immediately I pick up the phone and see that I exercise that part or do that particular exercise or pay attention to it. But you know, uh, I must add, uh, it's not like there's been constant improvement throughout the nine years. There's been ups and downs all the time. But irrespective of the ups and downs in terms of maybe, you know, some injury because of golf or something or the other, uh, she has always maintained uh, her adherence to training in terms of she's always come, no matter what. Uh, if she's out of town, that's a different issue. But otherwise, if she's in Mumbai, she's always there. Yeah, yeah so I exercise that, with my broken ankle. I exercise with my broken three ribs. Second, okay. second day, I was in the gym. Yeah. I mean, I don't, you don't exercise that part, but you can exercise the other part. Yeah. You, have to give, you have to respect your body, you have to respect your mind. And for that, some discipline is required. And today, I don't find that discipline is a headache or some very... Yeah, difficult thing to do, another day I'm enjoying it. Every mm -hmm. minute that I'm here, I'm enjoying it. Mm -hmm. Because you don't just exercise like a punishment. I mean, I'm working on because I'm enjoying it. I also take it as a rec recreation. Mm -hmm. um, I think if the members will uh, adhere to their schedules and exercise regularly uh, without making any excuses or oh, I had a late night or oh, I had this, I'm very well trained here. And I think you both, Sunil Manvi, you both are excellent. I mean, I read this uh, as the best uh, thing, Jim. And uh, you know your job. Yeah. And I think when you come here, you should give yourself up to your trainers and uh, the gym rather than listening to other outside advice. Mm -hmm. And until now, things have never gone bad or wrong with you here. Mm -hmm. Never, ever. Uh, nobody knows this thing, but I love Kalpana. <laughs> 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 We've been going out like regular. I love Sunil, but he's not the only one. <laughs> I think it is, uh, I think she's been cheating on me. <laughs> <laughs> Let this video prove that. <laughs> uh, thank Kalpana for being there. Thank you. Support that we expect for a long, long time in the future.